Should you press vinyl? Vinyl it has been coming back for years now. Vinyl is amazing. We love vinyl. People love buying vinyl. Record stores, local independent record stores are full of vinyl. Amazon is doing vinyl. Everybody's doing vinyl. Vinyl is great, but should you do vinyl? You have to know it's very expensive. You have to really think about your audience. Are your audience vinyl collectors? Uh, do they have disposable income? You have to remember this. See, digital is so accessible. Some people pay uh, $4.99 for their uh, university Spotify account, uh, and that's all they can afford when it comes to music, maybe one concert a year. Uh, so vinyl is like 20 to $30, depending on the, the color of the vinyl you do and how intricate your packaging is. And so you have to think, can my audience afford vinyl? Do they actually have big vinyl collections? This is something that people overestimate when they're thinking about investing in vinyl. Vinyl costs upwards of two to $3,000 to get 200 or 300 copies made. It takes six to 10 months um, from when it's sent off to be mastered and to, to be have the test pressings made uh, and to when you get the final package in your hand. So it's a very cumbersome, arduous process that not every uh, record label or independent artist can handle. Should you do it? That's up to you. That's up to the artists. You need to consider all the pros and cons, but it's very important that you have a strategy with what to do with those records when they come. Is the artist going on tour? Great. Then do vinyl. Uh, do you have a string of local shows set up? Do you have a good relationship with the record stores in the surrounding area where you can bring five copies each on consignment and, and then promote them on social media and drive traffic to those stores to pick up your copies? It's really important. You think that 100 or 200 copies doesn't sound like a lot, but it is a lot. And even though vinyl is coming back, do not overestimate uh, how much your friends and, and your fans will actually support you and buy a record. If you have a release show, you're going to sell a ton. That's great. Um, but so many times friends have said, oh, yeah, 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 uh, I'll, I'll get you some money. I want to get a copy. I'll grab one from you later. And they never get around to doing it. I even have friends who have released vinyl that I don't have a copy just because for one thing or another, I just haven't really you know, gone out of my way to pick it up or I, I try to limit how many records I have in my collection or how much money I spend in a given month. So should you do as a record label, should you do vinyl? I think it's great. I think it's fun to do, but don't do it just because everyone else is doing it. I hope you found that helpful. Go to otherrecordlabels.com slash toolkit, where we have all of our resources and information for record labels com compiled into this uh, free toolkit that you can download. Otherrecordlabels.com slash toolkit.